I let I I gotta get something out. That uh that little Nas X song was ass. I did not listen to I, it. I and uh mm. it was so ass that it wasn't no one needs to say anything. Why do you care? I just feel like if you're going to die on a hill, don't die over a hill over some ass. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? If you're going to die on a hill, like this song is so ass. And I like, and I, and I fucks with Lil Nas X. I love the way, I think he's the, the, the best that uses social media today. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't, you know, whatever his preference is, his preference is. Shout out to that brother. Um, but, you know, you got all these old out of, t- uh, out of touch niggas that's consistently like going at him. And I'm like, man, at least wait till the nigga put out some girls, some put out a hit. Like if y'all did all of this during Montero, I would understand. I fuck with Montero, but they did though. But Montero didn't. It it, it wasn't gonna be like, oh, you know what? We should shut him. Like, nah, yeah. bro. Once you said it was cool for him to be gay, I'm gonna give out, I'm gonna give out the most gay shit ever, and y'all just gonna run with it. You know what I'm saying? So now it's yeah. more about how you take it. Yeah. You know what? You can you can honestly you can give two shits about Lil Nas X, and it'll still win. That's what, Absolutely. So, so I say, like, bro. So why do yeah. people care so much? Yeah, I um, mm-hmm. this one, this one right here was just it was ass, and uh, it was the equivalent of like a chick posting like a thirst trap and getting like three likes. Mm-hmm. I felt like he just oh, no. he threw that out there. I'm like, laughing at her. He threw that out. Day. He threw that out there and missed on that one. And I fuck with little Nas X music. Uh, even <laughs> the Jack Harlow feature could not save it. It's just mm-hmm. it 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 wasn't good. <laughs> now. Uh, as far as like the baby and all the rest of these niggas, um, I can I can no longer associate with it because now I seen what the baby did. Right. So him and his his rant or whatever that everybody it's, it's called action. Yeah. It was a, a song rollout. So he dropped a song today, mm-hmm. which you, you heard that's one. A, that's a terrible way to drop a song. Yeah, yeah, he, 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 he had. He, he, Still rapping about what was in the rollout. So it's yeah, he had. I mean, he had AIDS. Terrible. In the, he had AIDS in the. Uh, he had Look. AIDS in the. Uh, he had AIDS in the in the video, and then he put he had posted something at the the end of the video. So all of this, all of this that he was doing at at uh, Rolling Loud was part of the act. So the song is about AIDS. Who? Oh. Whoever so it was like, if my nigga, you know, some about you know, if you don't have AIDS, if you don't have true. AIDS, or some you know, sucking dick in the parking lot, or some shit like that. All of this was part of an out a song rollout. All of this is in. That but is song. It, is this in? Is, is all this in the song? All of this is in. It's a song about AIDS and sucking dick no, in the parking a, lot. It's a <laughs> no. It's a it's a it's it's a bar, but he holds up a paper that says AIDS on it. So is this to bring AIDS awareness? Like I still don't understand this is a why horrible he did it. It was song. nasty. It was disgusting. I this t- is a it was horrible nasty. rollout for us. It was nasty. So you know all you know. Oh my god, who's on this marketing team? Like they make it need to be fired. No, you should do say this. <laughs> I think it's bad. Why, again, bro? Again, I'm, the, I'm the type of I'm the type of nigga that I I I love to stand on my own too, but I probably would go and rewrite my opinion if Boosie and Ti ever like. Agree with it. <laughs> Them like the oldest of old niggas now, and it's unfortunate because <laughs> I was the I was really I was really I'm still a, a, a boosy guy. I loved his last. I loved the album he just dropped like last week. Couldn't tell you nothing about it, but <laughs> couldn't tell you nothing. You about like it for real? Yeah, you don't like my foe. My foe was my shit, but uh, yeah, man, I don't get it, man. You know, and they they just try to find a way to continue to throw Lil Nas X in it, and that that to me was the issue. The baby didn't say nothing about Lil Nas X. There's nothing to say about Lil Nas X. T.I. and Boosie brought him, in him into the case. For no apparent reason For at no all. For no apparent reason. Yeah. And yeah, that's right what's what. Well, if he could be gay on camera, I could talk about being gay over Like, But wait a minute. that These two things don't mesh at all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if you say, if, if, fellas, if you're not sucking, sucking a nigga dick in the parking lot, make some noise. Who's sucking dick in the parking lot? Did hey, you see someone on the way in? Why like, are you thinking about how that? How is that like? Like we, we've man. all been shout out to, to shout out to everybody that got hit in the bargain line. Hey, I'm but that's going, I, I'm not going. To, I can't hate on you for doing that. But we've all been to a club to where like the DJ said, "If you got fifty dollars, make some noise." Ah. If you ain't got no no HIV, make some noise. Hey. If you ain't sucking dick in the parking lot, make some noise. Are you at my nigga? <laughs> no, no, I've I've heard never those, heard. No, no, I, you I, heard I, DJ I, say that. Right. Oh yeah, if, if you ain't got HIV, make some noise. I, for sure, a lot of DJ say that shit. Crazy. I've never heard. I've never heard. I've never heard somebody say if you if you suck the nigga dick in the parking lot, make some noise. That's like the next thing, man. And the one female that said it, I'm like, okay. 
that was different to me, bro. I've never heard that before. So you need a you need a new call to action, bro, because that that one that shit was nasty. And he that dropped the, he dropped a song today, and I was like, and shout out to the brother Riley, man. Riley tagged me in, it. I'm like, <laughs> it's just so. Did he talk terrible. about getting hit in the park a lot? Uh, anybody get no, in the I think that was his call. Oh, Riley with the never mind. Go ahead. That was the that what he said on uh, Rolling Loud was the call to action, but he dropped the video that had all of that that the AIDS and all that shit included. I I get all that part, <laughs> but I know it was a call to action. Was anything about sucking dick in the parking lot in the song? Like how do how do sucking dick in the parking lot and AIDS match? You can I mean, get AIDS from getting your dick sucked in the parking lot. But he he also like I specifically guess. said. Dudes, if that you are too. sucking dick in the parking lot, or if you didn't suck dick in the parking lot, make some noise. I like, think what he was, I think what what he was, what what he was trying to do wasn't necessarily a gay thing, but it turned out to be super homophobic. I can't well, homophobic. Yes, gay. I, I'm I'm just confused. Me too. Well, it, it was gay. <laughs> I, I don't if you get said it. A dude. If a dude, if you talk about dude sucking I'm dick in the parking lot, you talking about? I mean, like I said, when, when he, a, I a felt like when he act. was when he, when he says. <laughs> Sucking dick in a parking lot, I mean, it sounds very outrageous, but, you know, we, us as men, we often, we often replace kissing ass for sucking dick. Like, if a nigga, if a, if a dude is like, okay, if a dude is super kissing a nigga ass, we'd be like, man, this nigga's sucking dick, man, what the fuck? Yeah, but, no, but in, in really the parking lot is very specific. Yeah, that's like really The whole call was a very specific action. Like, I appreciate you for, for you know, attention. helping my brother out. You yeah. know, I'm, I'm, I'm oh, I'm not helping. Baby, I, you know I said it was nasty. As, I, the whole rollout thing to me was disgusting. <laughs> It wasn't thought out. Is disgusting. It wasn't thought out. I mean, well, I mean you, was anybody if getting If you hear one the baby song, song you hear all no. of them, okay. so. That's true. Exactly. I mean, once you mention sucking dick in the parking lot, the conversation is going to go somewhere you probably <laughs> didn't originally su- intend to. Not just sucking dick in a parking lot. Niggas sucking dick in a parking lot. Yeah. I just feel like, why are you even, why is that even in maybe, your thoughts? Maybe he was watching P-Valley, probably Pru, uh, and he had Uncle Clifford. And well, I'm not, we can't, we can't, we can't, see, we can't really, we can't, we can't, now we can't do that, though, because we got to bring it back to reality, and people do use this verbiage. Just because he's on a bigger platform, they Does it mean verbiage. we take away from we, we take away from reality? Because we did something that we was called. Uh, what were we called? What verbiage uh, do they use? What verbiage do they use though? What? Okay. When we made a nigga mad, we was called feminine and da 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 and da da da. So you made yeah, they another nigga mad. That, you were called feminine. Yes. But they didn't uh, say why? that y'all were sucking dick. Like you guys be sucking. We dick. didn't use that really verbiage. Who uses dick? that verbiage? Like, I don't. <laughs> You said let's not take it away from. I mean, this verb. We use this verbiage. What I'm saying is, this verbiage is is used. Oh, okay. Not not that specifically. He's saying it in a sexual manner. He's not saying it like, oh, y'all like you, you know, like how you just explained it. He's not saying it that way. He said it in a sec, very sexual, a a sexually suggestive way versus a disrespectful way. There's two different. There are two different scenarios. I'm just confused on the whole. I thing. just don't understand why. Oh no, I didn't know we was gonna get and to there's a no deep ass discussion. <laughs> Look, I just, I just, I just want to understand exactly to, what you I wanted to meant. pull out. I want to pull out the rollout. But I have heard, I have heard dudes say, "Man, like damn, man, you you don't, you don't stop sucking this nigga, dang man." No, I've heard that when sure. he's kissing ass and he. You yeah, know I've what heard saying? that. For yes, sure. man. I'm sucking this nigga shit. dick in the parking lot. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Cause that's where it's gonna go next. That's just what I'm. Yeah, doing. nigga, you sucking this nigga dick in the parking lot or something? Yeah, parking lot, bro. Damn. No, let me turn my light on, nigga. Next to the F one fifty, my nigga. What's your problem? I wasn't doing that, sir. And look again. I'm not against it. If you, whoever you are, if you're getting head in the parking lot, yeah, live your life. Shout out to you. <laughs> live your life, King. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Message to the baby. Get a clear message, bro. Cause that's not it, bro. Whatever, oh, I don't know what he. Whatever is. you were trying to say, know. just. I don't know what Do it better was, next time. It was his follow up. It's like, okay, then you, you said this, so we already know that it was, oh, the you shouldn't have hilarious. said it. And then well, he said his back. homosexual friends are classy. That's what he said. Yeah. <laughs> Is that why a yeah, nigga threw a beat at him? He said, my homosexual said, uh, my, my, the, the fans, dude, they don't have AIDS. My homosexual they're, fans, they're they don't have AIDS. And my homosexual fans. You know? That was like the next he day. Said, and my homosexual fans is not sucking You would have and woke up and Okay, hold up, hold up. And I do want to I do want to point I do want to point something out. And in no way am I making an excuse for the baby, but it it would be a disservice if I didn't show other sides of this argument now i have started to get into another documentary called woodstock the new one right the new one yeah yeah Yeah. 
And I've only been to one. I've only been to one festival. I did not like the environment. It is very chaotic. Which one? We and went to Soul Aquarius. Soul Aquarius. And daughter, dirty is my understanding. Wow. It's kind of dirty out yeah, there. Yeah, the festivals are something different. So <laughs> when, different. when you're getting a 30-second clip from a festival performance, the shit that they be saying on stage is very wild. A festival, a festival situation is completely different. It's like a big ass, dirty amusement park. Oh, yeah. okay. That's really what it is. I got stories, bro. So, I'm. St- <sighs> Don't they have like the porta potties and shit out there and shit? No, mm-hmm. it's it's yeah, fucking nuts. It's disgusting. But you ask anybody <laughs> getting head in a porta potty. Mm. No nah, man, you got doo doo this powered high, bro. No, nah, if bro, you wasn't in your head in a porta potty, a lot of the shit, <laughs> a lot of the shit, uh, y'all is it's, gay. it's cool. It's cool now because uh, it's cool now because you know you, we we get to get these thirty second clips from 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 put them on Twitter or whatever the case may be, mm-hmm. and it makes the whole fucking story. But when you listen, when you listen or hear from these artists on stage, uh. During this Woodstock documentary, you be like, the shit that they be saying to get the crowd, like, the motherfuckers, uh, who, who the fuck was it? Is that where Ozzy Osbourne bit the bat on the head? No. That was oh, well, it might have been. It was, it was, no, I think talking about Woodstock 99. The, the new, the most, the, the last one. They fucking, one, yeah. they fucking, they was on stage telling chicks to pull their titties out and shit. And I think it was Limp. Was it Limp Biscuit that was on but stage? It was seventy five rapes reported at that. Yes, time. it was a, a chick got gang raped in the fucking crowd in the mosh pit during the as set. Limp Biscuit was on stage during the set. Yeah, there was another wow. one. There was another one where when they started to burn, yep. when they were start when they started to burn, they Woodstock ninety nine. They they burned it. It was like corns performances, something like that. Yeah. They were performing a song about fire. Hmm. When's the next Woodstock? I just they, bro, Woodstock, they can't do it. It's done. Bro, After that, yeah. it's done. Hmm. People died, that overdose, bitch. rapes, gang bangs. Yeah, it was like forty four. The Hell's man. Angels. I uh, think they came back to do more security for that shit. It, it just went and ran them up. You, you couldn't stop. That. Hell's Angels can't do security. Do you remember? Okay. Oh, do you yeah, remember? Hell nah. Do you remember? Every every so often, the clip of DMX pop up when he's in when he's he has a uh, red overalls on. Yeah. Were you performing for all the people? That's where I was Woodstock ninety nine. Okay. That was Woodstock ninety nine. Yep. Feces. Uh, they started to what they started to, to uh, something happened where you know people were actually living there. Like Woodstock, you could live on, you could stay on the premises because it was like three, four days or some shit. Yeah. Uh, the porta potties was like out of service, so they broke something that was supposed to be used for the shower, and then everybody was covered in mud, but the mud was really feces and water. Like <gasps> it was fucked. Yeah. It was fucked up. So like this little rant that. Just went viral because it's the baby. Happens often. But it it doesn't happens. Make it okay. Oh, it, I, I'm not. I'm not saying that. But I'm yeah, saying but it's like rationalizing it, and it's you can't rationalize what he said. It happens. It happens. That's that is what I'm saying. I hate when I hate when shit is shown and we try to act like now combating it is one thing, but I hate to act. I hate when motherfuckers act like this doesn't happen. Facts. That's what. That's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Doesn't make it okay, but it happens. And if we're going to be mad at him, then it's time to get mad at all of that shit. Because the shit that goes on at them festivals is something different. We ain't talking about concerts. We're talking about festivals. Yeah. The, the original Woodstock was kind of dirty from my understanding of it, too. <clears throat> I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember the older one. I think the original one, one was made way more uh, put together like professionally than 99. 99, so? 99 lost it and then lost yeah, it. The, 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 the original owners called the 99 when MTV stopped. Yeah. They don't try to associate it with the original Woodstock. It was that fucking nuts. It was that crazy. Mm, to my understanding, the, the original Woodstock was pretty dirty too. Maybe not maybe not as extreme, but in terms of like the cleanliness and all yeah. the other shit, my from my understanding it was But it's no different from like from like an EDC. Like That's if, what if I was you go to EDC, say, is it you know, the same like, as the like EDC? If, if you if you if you snoring the coke off a of bitch's teddy, just let me hear say yeah. yeah. Like if you are on the <laughs> ground floor at EDC, that's what exactly what the fuck is going on. It's yeah. pure blown drugs. Everywhere, you know what I'm saying? But oh yeah, they be rolling them people in the right. yeah, yard. man. What you think? That's a, yeah. <laughs> oh, I believe they be it. And you know when they in town? People, yeah, you know when they in town because you just see the them. Yard is full. I mean, I went to Soul Quarries. I believe Soul Quarries was a major a, a majority R and B show, and it was chaotic. 
crazy for a minute. I was a little scared for a minute. And I fuck around and took her while she was pregnant. So Aquarius is in Philadelphia, ain't it? So Aquarius was in California. Yeah. Was it? Mm-hmm. And, and imagine, she was pregnant. Imagine being there super sober. So we're very sober. Everybody else is obviously not. You know, you could, they smoking weed outside because, you know, we're in California. It was legal at the time. So they out there smoking. They doing all kinds of stuff and pushing. And I thought he was going to get in a fight. Hmm. Man, I, I, went to a, I went to a jazz festival one time. Chaotic, <laughs> they fight over the jazz, bro. <laughs> Motherfuckers be tripping, bro. <laughs> Kimmy G, better bitch. Like who fighting over hey, jazz? Hey, first of all, money, nigga, 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 that's my trombone, my nigga. If you clip my trombone, I'm on your ass. That's elevator hey, music. Hey, who hey. fuck fighting over <laughs> elevator music? Hey, get nah, knocked out while Bobby Caldwell on stage. <laughs> that's a cold shit. Oh that's a cold God. ass memory to have. Bro. Bow, what you won't do? <laughs> <laughs> for, uh, 